Good morning. My name is Dr. Michael G. Knight. I'm an internal medicine and obesity medicine physician and an assistant professor of medicine here at the George Washington University in Washington, D.C. And today, Monday, December 21st, 2020, I'll be getting my first dose of the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine. All right, I am on my way over to GW Hospital to get my first dose. Come along for the ride. So I've just filled out my form. Let's go in. First. Um, I think that's it. All right, got my first dose. Let's go. So now they have us seated for 15 minutes to make sure we don't have any immediate side effects. Right now I'm feeling nothing, uh, but safety first. So, all right, 15 minutes is finished. I don't feel anything. Uh, actually a lot better than when I get the flu shot. Arm feels good. I barely felt the injection at all. I don't have any headaches. I don't feel lightheaded. I've been sitting, so let's get on up. And let's go. All right, I'm walking back to my office. It has been about 20 minutes since I had the first dose of my COVID-19 vaccine. I'm feeling good. No immediate side effects, no headache, no lightheadedness. All right, everyone, it's been about two hours since I had dose number one. Feeling good so far. Arm feels good. I don't have any soreness. I anticipate probably in a couple of hours I might, but right now it feels good. No fevers, no chills, no lightheadedness. I feel good. About to go to clinic. All right. Everyone, it's been about three hours since I had the first shot of the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine. Um, Symptoms-wise, I think I feel a little tingling in my arm where I have injection, but it's not sore. I thought I was getting a little bit of a headache, but it never came into fruition. So I'm still monitoring. I didn't take any Tylenol uh, preemptively because I wanted to be able to tell you all if I felt any symptoms. So I'm not on Tylenol. I don't have anything in my system right now. And all I'm having is a little bit of tingling in my arm, but I will keep you updated. All right. Sorry. I'm seeing patients. So I got all my gear on. I'll see you soon. All right. So I wanted to check in really quick. It's been about six hours since I had the first dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. I'm still feeling good. I the little tingling in my arm, I feel a little bit of soreness when I move it. Uh, if I'm not moving my arm, I don't feel it at all. It's almost like you just finished a, a good workout and just a little bit sore. But other than that, I feel fine. It has now been nine hours since I got the first dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. I've been feeling good. I had had that slight tingle in my left arm. That's Now it's a little bit sore. Kind of like you've been holding something heavy for a long time, but not painful unless I'm really trying to move it. I didn't have a headache, but I had a slight like sinus pressure, if you will, almost like a headache's trying to come on, like if you didn't get enough sleep or something, um, or if you wear glasses and you haven't been wearing them and been straining your eyes. So it's just a little bit of pressure, but um, that has resolved. It's been about 24 hours since my first dose of the Pfizer BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine. Been feeling good so far. That little tingling that I felt in my left arm yesterday definitely turned into more soreness this morning. Kind of like I've been working out too much in this arm. And then it started to wear off since I woke up. I didn't take any Tylenol because I wanted to be able to give you all my full experience, but I have full motion in the arm, just some soreness uh, at the area where I got the injection. Uh, I thought yesterday that I was going to get a headache. I started to feel a little bit of pressure, but that went away in about an hour or so. Uh, no fevers, no chills, no dizziness. And so that's been good so far. So it's been about 36 hours since my first dose of the Pfizer BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine. Uh, earlier today, I was having some soreness in my left arm where I had the injection. Now that soreness has pretty much worn off. If I press the arm, it does feel a little bit tender, but overall with movement, I don't have the kind of soreness I had this morning. 
Now, what I did have this evening, so maybe about six hours ago, I started having these generalized body aches. Um, so kind of like I've been working out, but I hadn't been to the gym in a while, like doing cardio, or if I was swimming or basketball, football, something like that, where you're using your entire body. Um, and then you just kind of feel sore, not like a muscle is sore, just like generally just a little squeaky. Uh, it's not stopping me from doing anything. I was able to do work, walk around, no issues. Um, I wouldn't say I felt fatigued. I do feel like my energy level is down probably like eight out of 10. So I, I feel like it probably feels like when you feel like you're about to get sick or about to have a cold that night before and you feel a little bit mucky, I would say that I feel a little bit like that. So quick update, it's been just over 36 hours. That generalized kind of achy pain has continued and it started to feel warm. Check my temperature, it's like 100.6, so a fever, if you will, a low grade fever. I'm kind of feeling a little bit yucky, kind of like you're just starting to get the flu or some kind of virus. Trying not to take Tylenol. Uh, probably if I take it, it probably will get rid of my symptoms, but I'm trying to hold on so that I can tell you guys just what I'm feeling. Obviously, the Tylenol will mask any symptoms. So right now, still having the aches, a little bit of fever. I'm going to try to go to bed and see what happens in the morning. I woke up this morning. Uh, the fever was completely gone. Temperature was back to normal. The body aches were almost 80 to 90% gone. But I was coming to work and I just didn't want to take a chance um, being on my feet all day of having more body aches. So I did take a Tylenol, uh, 500 milligrams of acetaminophen. And the symptoms went away completely. So uh, knowing that last night, had I taken the Tylenol, it probably would have improved. So today with the Tylenol this morning, I feel completely fine. My energy level is right back up to a 10, no aches, no fevers, and the soreness is almost completely gone out of that left arm. All right, everyone, it is day four after my first dose and I'm feeling good. I'm feeling back to normal completely, no sore arm. It's gone away, no fevers, no chills, no soreness. I haven't taken any Tylenol since yesterday and I feel great. So um, right now I'm just going to relax, enjoy the holidays. I get my second dose in about two and a half weeks now uh, in early January. So I will be coming back to let you know how it goes, but I'm doing good. I'm going to say some quick things. Number one, this vaccine was not developed from scratch in nine months. The research behind this vaccine started over a decade ago when we were first introduced to the coronavirus family with the SARS outbreak in early 2000s, the MERS outbreak in 2012, 2013. Those were all a part of the coronavirus family. So we started developing this technology years ago. So when COVID-19 came, we said, wow, it's a part of this coronavirus family. We have to make some changes to the studies that we've done, but we already have the framework. All right. This is not like this was a brand new virus type of virus that we had never seen before. We were not starting from scratch. Number two, this virus, this vaccine does not have a virus in it. There is no COVID-19. There's no pieces of it. There's no dead virus. There's nothing. And uh, what's in it is the mRNA. Number three, the mRNA vaccine will not change your genetics. mRNA is a recipe, if you will, to tell your cell how to make a protein. So when the mRNA comes into your cell, it's a recipe for the cell to make a protein that your immune system will identify. It will identify that protein as foreign. It will make antibodies like soldiers against that protein. And those soldiers will hang out in your system for a long time. If you are exposed to COVID-19, which has the same protein, your body will immediately recognize it and those soldiers that are hanging out, the antibodies will attack it and prevent it from infecting you. So that's the whole point of the vaccine. So there's no, va there's no virus in the vaccine. It has a recipe 
you can call it mRNA, that tells your cells how to make a protein. When that protein is made, the immune system develops defenses against that protein. So when they see the COVID-19 virus that has the same protein, you know how to attack it. So those are the top three things. Talk to a healthcare professional. We have reasons to be questionable. It's okay to have questions. There's nothing wrong with being hesitant. You want to wait for me to get to the second dose? Please do. I will be your guinea pig. Morning. I am on my way to get my second dose of the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine. Let's go. All right, walking up for dose number two. So some of the studies have shown that the second dose has a slightly higher risk of certain effects, such as the sore arm, fatigue, low grade fever, chills, and knowing that I had some sore arm last time, I'm expecting a little bit more. So we'll see. It's been about 12 hours since my second dose of the Pfizer BioNTech uh, COVID-19 vaccine. And I'm feeling good. I do have some soreness in my left arm where I had the injection. I would say the soreness is about the same as the first dose, um, but I don't have any other symptoms, no fatigue, no chills, no fevers. I didn't take any Tylenol. As I posted, um, you know, the studies have shown that the second dose of the vaccine is an increased likelihood of having those effects of fatigue or chills because your immune system is already primed. And so once your immune system is primed, the second time it, it sees the vaccine, your immune response should be very strong. So I'm expecting to feel some symptoms, but right now I'm feeling good. The first 32 hours have been very manageable. The first day, I would say I started having a left arm pain where I had the injection about five hours or so after I had the vaccination. By that evening of the first day, I started to have some chills and I started to feel warm, some tenderness in the arm area. I checked my temperature and it was elevated. So I did have a low grade fever of about 100.6. At this point, I took uh, extra strength Tylenol, went to bed, woke up the next morning, the fever had come down. Because I was going to work, I just wanted to be sure. So I took some additional Tylenol, went to work, had great energy, had a great day at work. And by the afternoon of the second day, started to have some very, very mild muscle achiness, almost like I had been working out, like a full body workout, similar to how I felt after the first dose, as well as some fatigue. Uh, so at this point, I'm still feeling a little fatigue. There's no fever, no chills, uh, and the muscle aches have pretty much resolved. Um, the last took Tylenol earlier today. I haven't taken any just yet. So, so far, so good. I'm now at 72 hours from the second dose. I feel completely back to normal. I have no arm soreness. I've been going to work. I've been active and I feel great. I'm only now days away from full immunity uh, with the vaccine, meaning that I have up to 95% immunity uh, against COVID-19, which is amazing. So it has now been a full week after my second dose of the COVID-19 vaccine from Pfizer and BioNTech. And as I said, I've been completely symptom free after two days after that second dose. So for the past five days, I've had no fatigue, no fevers, no chills, no sweats, nothing. Completely back to normal. I feel fine and I'm excited. Why? Because as the studies have shown, 28 days after that first dose with the second dose, three weeks after, patients receive 95% uh, protection from COVID-19 infection, as well as for those who do get infected, uh, the severity of COVID is much, much, much reduced. So I feel good. I feel good to be protected. I'm still wearing my mask. I'm still washing my hands because it's not 100%. There's still a possibility, though that possibility is greatly reduced. So thank you for coming along for the ride. I hope that you will be able to look at my experience as well as the experience of others and the scientific data to make a decision on whether or not you will accept the COVID vaccine. I hope that you will when it becomes available to you. 
please reach out to a healthcare professional that you trust that is certified uh, that can give you factual information and help you make the right decision. So until next time, this is Dr. Michael G. Knight, the district doc, thanking you for coming along and tuning in to my experience with the COVID-19 vaccine.